This is Nancy E.T. Johnson, mathematics teacher. This is how to find the roots of a polynomial. We're going to look at a polynomial of degree 2, or a quadratic equation. The quadratic formula will work for all second degree quadratic equations. This is the formula, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The a's, b's, and c's are the coefficients of each term. a is the coefficient of the squared term, in this case, 1. b is the coefficient of the uh, first degree term, or the x, which in this case is negative 9. So a is 1, b is negative 9, and c is the constant 14. So in order to apply those numbers into this formula, what we would do is take negative b, in other words, the opposite of negative 9, plus or minus the square root of b squared. b is negative 9, so we need to square that. And then subtract 4 times a is 1, c is 14. Keep those all under that radical sign and then all over 2 times a, 2 times 1. Okay, so we have the opposite of negative 9, which is 9, plus or minus the square root of negative 9 squared. Negative 9 times negative 9 is 81, minus 4 times 14. Let's see, that would give us 56. And all of this over 2 times 1, which is 2. The square root of 25 can either be a positive or a negative 5, because both 5 squared and negative 5 squared will give us 25. So our two roots are 9 plus 5 over 2, or 9 minus 5 over 2. This one gives us 14 over 2, or 7. This one gives us 4 over 2, or positive 2. So again, the roots of the equation are 7 and 2. That's how to find the roots of a second degree polynomial equation. I'm Nancy E.T. Johnson, mathematics teacher.